So for my Tauruses, the message for January, um, a situation, you got the 10 of thought, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. So that's moving forward, getting out of your head and applying yourself to those positive changes. It looks like you guys had four of emotion. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act on your dreams. It looks like there's people around you that want to help, but you're so focused on, on you. Make sure that you're saying, hey, what is it that I want to do? And then you're actually taking action to allow those changes to happen. The last card I received for you guys is healer of action. This is a time where you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. Allow yourself to heal through your actions. Okay, Taurus? That was our message for you for the um, month of January. The next one we have is Virgo. Okay, Ace of Thoughts. The Sherb has arrived to congratulate you for brilliant new ideas, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implement uh, with implementing your idea. Don't dissuade, don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to per, um, to perfect your plan. All right, the next card you receive is number 15, choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You can free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you may act upon. Your mindset is very important. Choose freedom and focus on the positive. Five of emotion. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels uh, or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so you can get back to the path of joy. Allow yourself to feel the emotions but continue to move forward. Do not stay stuck. Okay, that's my message for our amazing Virgo. And last but not least, we have our cat. All right, the first card you received is number 10, a happy change. Your angels have heard your prayers and have bonded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. The next card you receive is number seven, be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude that you deserve. How amazing. And the last card we received for Capricorns is number 14, a win-win solution. There is strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that is magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. This is amazing. Happy changes, open to success. You got the chariot card as well. And then you got the win-win situation where you got a solution for all involved. Capricorn, your January is ending out in a bang. You know what? I'm going to just. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had to ring the bell on that one because I am a Capricorn, y'all. And she <laughs> is not lying. You know, that whole decision, this is a win-win situation. Um, I am a, a royal badge streamer 
uh, and a top content professional on the Plenty of Fish app. And we just changed our live, our whole live streaming platform changed on the 23rd, which was a week ago. And it has been chaos. When I tell you we're used to apples and now we have oranges. And every day I show up to my beautiful Plenty of Fish app and it is so different. And I'm just like, I'm going to win. I, I, yeah. just, I just made up my mind. I'm going to yeah. win. 